What's up, everybody? It's Mikhail Casanova back at you with another Steam Deck news video because uh, we just had some Steam Deck news drop today. And uh, yeah, not just me, but it's also Zale Casanova and my daughter. We're here and uh, we're going to talk about this new update uh, that just literally, well, within the time of this video being recorded, it was a few minutes ago, but whenever you're seeing it, it could be however long. But uh, there's some. Um, some updates that just got pushed through. So if you haven't already, make sure you go to your settings and do the update for your Steam Deck. There's probably going to be two updates. They'll go back to back and then uh, you'll, you'll go ahead and get it. But before we dive into the news, if you enjoy the content I put out from Steam Deck news, tutorials, reviews, accessory reviews, and the like, make sure you sub to the channel, ding the notification bell, that way you stay up to date on all the latest and greatest content that comes from this channel. Uh, also, follow me on social media. Links will be down in the description uh, below. So let's go ahead and get into the news. So this right here is from Lawrence Yang. If you're not familiar with him, make sure you go and give him a follow. Uh, he's He works at Valve. He's working on the Steam Deck. He's doing a lot of stuff for the Steam Deck. So uh, you really want to know what updates are happening before he even hits the official Steam Deck uh, Twitter then uh, follow him. But anyways, so he says, hello, we've just updated Steam Deck OS with the performance updates that were in the beta. So now all players have these fixes. Thank you for everyone for helping us test and providing feedback. Details here. I'll include a link down in the description below. But what's interesting is about a couple hours earlier, the beta got all these updates and then they just literally pushed them live because they're like, hey, let's go ahead and do it. So let's go ahead and click it. We're going to go over here to the site. So these are the uh, updates. So this is very short. It's going to be a very, very short video, but it says Steam Deck OS update. Uh, it says, note, this update is for the Steam Deck stable and beta channels. It includes all the changes that have been tested in the preview channel. You can opt into this in system settings. So just go to settings, system, and then Steam update channel. And uh, these are the fixes that they fixed. So temporarily reverted RDR2 VRAM workaround to pre-3.3 uh, behavior. So fix an issue causing random 0.2 second stutter. Fix an issue causing performance drops when a UI element appeared on screen if the performance HUD was enabled. And also it improved performance for Forza Horizon 5. So I just want to let you guys know this. This is a very, very short video. Um, not a whole lot of Steam Deck news to cover, but I figure covering not only, you know, what this update brought, but also talking about the things that they didn't even detail themselves. I think that was important. So uh, with all that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, you enjoy all the Steam Deck videos that I put out, then uh, make sure you like the video, sub to the channel if you haven't already. If you need some accessories, I do have recommended accessories for the Steam Deck that I include in every Steam Deck video I do. So if you were picking any of those up, it's no additional cost to you, but it does give a little bit of kickback that goes back into the channel. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so if you uh, also want to support the channel further, uh, we got channel memberships here on YouTube, gets you early exclusive access to various content, as well as if there's anything you'd like me to just, you know, to cover, Particularly, you know, you get the input on that and a lot of other things too. There's also Patreon as well. But all that being said, hope you guys had a great and a lot of rest of your day. If there's any other news, I'll be there with a video and uh, should probably be with me because on top of doing content full time, so I do content, not only YouTube videos, I also stream full time and I also do um, I do journalistic work too. I have my website if you haven't checked out, MikhailCastanova.com, check it out. I do stuff there. I podcast full time. So a lot of people in the gaming and tech industry, as well as, you know, celebrities and voice actors, I've interviewed them. Um, they're, they're on the cast of a podcast. And um, yeah, I got a lot of things in the works, a lot of things that I do. So uh, not, it's not just YouTube. It's a lot of other things, consultations as well. So uh, I do all that full time and I'm a full time dad. So yeah, all that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I don't know how I already said that, but I'm going to say it again. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.
If you found this episode to be incredibly enjoyable, informative, or if there's anything you gain from it or any insight or, you know, anything that's good that you really, really enjoy, make sure whatever platform you're listening to it on, or if you're watching it, leave a comment if that's available on the platform, like it, share it around with someone you think would enjoy it, and give us some feedback because your feedback is exactly what we need to keep this show going. And if you're wondering what are some ways that you could support the show, we got various ways we've got patreon we have channel memberships over on youtube as well as subscribe star coffee and so much more links for everything will be in the description check that out and with all that being said i hope you have an aloha rest of your day let them know that i'm next level i'm a whole new kind of guy Dean. yeah Is at the top spot in case you forgot. We the ones that got the black hot bullet got the shot. Yeah.